Hi everyone, I'm Lenka Segura from CPE team, Red Hat CPE team. Um, and uh, this is my colleague from the same team, teammate and uh, author of uh, Community Shift, David Corwan. And there is sitting our, our another teammate, Patrick Polakovic. Um, I would like to announce that the Community Shift is available. As it was recently announced on the Federa community blog, Community Shift is finally out there and you can use it. Please. Um, well, the thought is not new. Community Shift is not a new thing. It's been here for like five years ago. Uh, it was announced in a Budapest vlog in 2019 by Kevin Fenzi. And what we're doing now is the re release. Um, <laughs> yeah, so what is it? It's uh, an OpenShift uh, cluster for community purposes. It's hosted in Federal Infra. And yep, we're announcing it once again. The idea is for it to serve uh, for hosting projects uh, that mm, benefit the Federal community that are perhaps not ready yet to be uh, deployed in infrastructure. It's aimed for applications supported by a community member or a team in, uh, on behalf of the Fedora community. <laughs> yeah, well, so for what it should serve? It should serve for experimenting, learning about OpenShift, testing your application, testing how it will work, how it will behave on, on OpenShift as a proof of for proof of concepts and so on. So what do we offer? The platform, and that's it. Users of the platform are bound by rules, policies, and behavior of the Fedora Project Contributor Agreement. So we need you to have a FAS account and the Fedora Project Contributor Agreement signed and the code of conduct, then you're good to go. And uh, yeah. Uh, it's a place where you can run containerized uh, applications. It's an OpenShift dedicated instance. Uh, the purpose, as I said, is uh, f that projects that benefit the Fedora community. The rule is that the projects will be deleted every six months to coincide with the Fedora release cycle. Extensions are possible if justified. You have to ask for that. And note that, note that the list is not exhaustive. This, uh, there can be different reasons why we might delete or disable your application. We will always make the effort to communicate that with you. Um, and for that, we need you to have updated email in your FAS information. So it's a self -serve. you will, you will uh, gain self-service access to an OpenShift project, you will have full control over your namespace and uh, who else is allowed to access it. We want to reduce the need to involve federal infrastructure uh, in the administration of your project. So uh, in, need you need, in case you need any help, you should refer to the OpenShift documentation. We offer a quota. You will get one CPU, one gigabyte of memory, five gigabyte of storage space, and two pods. Uh, if your project requires more, uh, you can request, again, officially, um, more resources. So how do you get your namespace? You have to open a ticket in a Fedora infrastructure tracker. And here, can you click? On the right side, uh, in the types menu, there is a community shift template. We need to, to fill it. Uh, you have to put the project name, which has to start on community shift dash. That's very important. And you um, specify your uh, storage requirements. And you have to explain, justify how your project is related to Fedora. Once approved, you will have an admin access to your own uh, project namespace. 
Um, if your issue, in case you're, you, you, well, you should refer to the OpenShift documentation. That's like first way where you should go. In case uh, you need uh, some changes in the cluster-wide <coughs> configuration, or you need uh, us to help you with integration with some Fedora service, then open a ticket again in Fedora Infra. Well, there are some projects currently running in, in CommuniShift. These are some examples, Federal Review Service, Log Detective, Open Scan Hub, Planet. You can read about them, there are links. And one of the applications that is also running in CommuniShift currently is CommuniShift Authorization Operator. Here you see the demo. That's basically um, an operator that uh, synchronizes the fast groups with the CommuniShift cluster. So as you can see, you have a group named by like your project, CommuniShift dash something, and you're free to add or remove users. And here they get synchronized to, your, to the groups. Yep. You can refer to user guide. Uh, I have got a question. Uh, OpenShift has got also the user interface, so you see only on the command line uh, uh, access uh, to the OpenShift cluster or, or also any uh, user access specific uh, uh, users for the OpenShift cluster for uh, accessing the uh, web interface. Yeah, so you, you get access to the Sir. web interface and the CLI access too. Yeah, I have to repeat the question. The question was uh, if you have a web UI uh, access or a, uh, and also command line access. So yes, you have both. You, you can run OC commands. And yep, here's, the, here's where you find the user guide for CommuniShift on the federal mm, documentation. And yep, OpenShift documentation, that's all what you should need. Thank you very much.